This is video podcast 9 from learningradiology.com. Musculoskeletal Imaging Differential Diagnoses Part 1. Hello, I'm William Herring from Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia. These differentials are not intended to be all-inclusive. They are designed as an aid to remembering a few of the most important causes for each of the findings shown. The way this presentation will work is first the case is shown as an unknown. Try to guess what the differential the case exemplifies. Use the pause control on your computer or MP3 player. The second slide will have the title of the differential, in this case, diffuse increase in bone density. Again, use the pause control. The next slide will reveal the differential diagnosis. And the last slide reveals the diagnosis of the original case. This podcast is designed to be used as either an audio-only or a video-only podcast or both. This is the first case. Pause the player. The differential is diffuse increase in bone density. There are seven major causes. Pause the player. The causes for diffuse increase in bone density include osteoblastic metastatic disease, Paget's disease, myelosclerosis, such as seen as sickle cell anemia, fluorosis, mastocytosis, osteopetrosis, and hypervitaminosis D. This is the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is diffuse decrease in bone density. There are five major causes. Pause the player. The five major causes of diffuse decrease in bone density include osteoporosis, multiple myeloma steroid administration, and of course aging, osteomalacia, hyperparathyroidism, paralysis, and osteogenesis imperfecta. This is the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is for focal sclerotic lesions of bone. There are eight major causes. Pause the player. The differential for focal sclerotic lesions of bone includes osteosarcoma, osteoblastic metastases, lymphoma, Paget's disease, bone islands, healed fractures, bone infarcts, and osteoid osteoma. Here is the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is for a focal lytic lesion. There are four major causes. Pause the player. The four major causes of a focal lytic lesion in bone include multiple myeloma, lytic metastases, eosinophilic granuloma, and brown tumors. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is round cell lesions that produce a permeative pattern. There are five major causes. Pause the player. The five major causes of a permeative pattern, round cell lesions, are Ewing sarcoma, osteomyelitis, multiple myeloma, lymphoma and leukemia, and neuroblastoma. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential is for an expansile lytic lesion of bone. There are six major causes. Pause the player. The six major causes of an expansile lytic lesion in bone include multiple myeloma, metastases, aneurysmal bone cysts, fibrous dysplasia, brown tumors, and enchondroma. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. 
The differential diagnosis is for an expansile lesion of the ribs. There are seven major causes. Pause the player. The causes of an expansile lesion of rib include plasmacytoma, metastases, chondrosarcoma, fibrous dysplasia, enchondroma, eosinophilic granuloma, and rarely neurofibromatosis. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is for a soap bubbly lesion of bone. There are four major causes. Pause the player. The major causes of a soap bubbly lesion in bone include metastases, especially from kidney, thyroid, and lung cancer, giant cell tumor, plasma cytoma, and chondrosarcoma. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is lesions associated with soft tissue masses. There are four major causes. Pause the player. The major causes of bone lesions with associated soft tissue masses include multiple myeloma, metastases, osteomyelitis, and a primary malignancy of bones such as an osteosarcoma. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for a sclerotic cortical lesion in bone. There are three major causes. Pause the player. The causes of a sclerotic cortical lesion include osteoid osteoma, a Brody's absence from chronic osteomyelitis, and a healing stress fracture. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for a short fourth metacarpal bone. There are three major causes. Pause the player. The causes of a short fourth metacarpal include an isolated anomaly, Turner's syndrome, and pseudohypoparathyroidism. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for clinodactyly. There are three major causes. Pause the player. Three causes of clinodactyly include Down syndrome, otopalatodigital syndrome, and Cornelia de Lange syndrome. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for polydactyly. There are three major causes. Pause the player. The three major causes of polydactyly include an isolated anomaly, Ellis van Creveld syndrome, and Carpenter syndrome. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the players. The differential diagnosis is for syndactyly. There are three major causes. Pause the player. The major causes of syndactyly include Carpenter syndrome, Apert syndrome, and Poland syndrome. Here's the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player.
The differential is for erosion of the distal clavicle. There are three major causes. Pause the player. The three major causes of erosion of the distal clavicle include rheumatoid arthritis, hyperparathyroidism, and scleroderma.